This, the Crown argued, is where it was all supposed to happen, on train tracks between New York and Toronto. It was a case that consumed law enforcement on both sides of the border. Rad Jasser and Shaheb Esagar were both found guilty and given life sentences for their role in the Via Rail terror plot. At the heart of the case were recordings and testimony of an FBI agent who had befriended the two men. Wearing an elaborate disguise to conceal his identity, the FBI agent spoke to CBC News after the trial. He tells me that one of the plots was to derail a train and we're going to visit a dear brother who was in this plot with him uh, to derail a train. But from the beginning, there were questions about the trial, especially about Essegeyer, who appeared to be mentally unwell. He refused to take part or be represented by a lawyer. But an issue with the jury selection is what led to a new trial being ordered. Jasser's legal team argued that jury selection violated the men's right to a fair trial. Fair jury selection procedures are really a hallmark of the Canadian justice system. Megan Savard was the lawyer for Rad Jasser during his appeal. He was grateful. Uh, it's a lot of information to process, and obviously uh, the next steps after a successful appeal are not always clear, uh, but happy, happy and grateful. The Crown says it will proceed with a new trial and has 60 days to decide to appeal today's ruling in the Supreme Court. So, Habiba, with this new trial now ordered, what, if anything, could be different this second time around? Well, the biggest change since the trial, while Esagar has been in prison, we know that he's been under treatment for schizophrenia. He has submitted statements to the court for his appeal, stating that he was suffering from schizophrenia throughout the trial. So if he decides to go for a defense of not criminally responsible in the new trial, that could play out very differently. Second, the FBI informant you just saw in my story has written a book, almost a tell-all about the case, and has given interviews, including to the CBC. So if there were any statements he made in the book that contradict what he said on the stand, that could prove to be very useful for the defense. Could be different trial indeed. Thanks very much, Abiba. Appreciate it. Thank you.